Hey guys, so uh, it's Saturday and so I'm going through the house and getting a lot of things done that I just don't have time for during the week. Um, one of those things this week is preparing the sugar pumpkins that I have to uh, be frozen. That's how I prefer to process them. Um, I roast them and then I freeze them. And before I do that, all I do is I cut them in half like this, and then I clean out the seeds and I save most of the seeds. And I don't get real picky about it because the guts that I don't get the seeds out of are going to the chickens anyway. And pumpkin seeds are a really good uh, kind of natural, wow. almost a dewormer really. I mean, some people say it doesn't, but I think it does. I've noticed a big improvement in their health after I feed them pumpkin. <laughs> So, I'm going to just go ahead and get that done. See, as you can see, I'm just separating out the seeds. Um, it's just really easy to see. You just kind of go through and it's mushy. Pretend you're a little kid again. That can still be fun. <laughs> and you just go up and I tend to use my fingers as a little scoop. Uh, fork almost and that helps me get a lot of the seeds and leave a lot of the, the innards and then it, it's easier to separate ah. <clears throat> and then when I'm almost Can't all done with that um, and I have most of the seeds then I just yeah. scrape again and I just put it in the, the bucket for the chickens um, and then when I'm done doing that, I'll show you how I put them on the sheet pan and you stick them in the oven at 350. Oh, shotgun. Um, it takes, I don't know, about 40 minutes or so. And once it's soft enough for me to scoop it out, um, I put it in freezer bags and um, freeze it and then once it's actually frozen, then I put it through the food saver so that it'll last a little bit longer. So see, it's almost all empty. And I just kind of get some more of those strings because oh they're really not good for pies or anything. That's just kind of yucky. So the texture, wow. at least for me, is this just no good. Out, I'm a big texture person. little bit. <laughs> wow. And then some fingers. Oh, I'm also pressure canning my mushroom blocks for the week. Well, some of them. <laughs> and it looks like it's ready for me to put the rocker on. tend to use the kitchen towel for all of my paper towel for the day for my hands and things that aren't oh too nasty God, and uh, then I just switch it out with a new one for the next day. Okay, I'll come back in a minute. All right, now. Okay, so now I just go back in. I just stab them with a fork. little, I don't remember what the lady called them, they're kind of like butternut, but a little smaller, uh, maybe sugar nut. Um, it's the first year I've seen them. Uh, I just give them a little uh, oil, just to make sure that they don't stick and burn to the bottom of the pan. Damn. 
adjust the shelves. at 3.50 and that's it. They'll be ready and when they're all ready I'll, and cooled off I'll show you the process of scooping them out and then that, that's it and then when you're ready to make a pie you just use uh, I think it was two cups or it might be one cup. I'll have to look that up for you for, ne for when I come back. Um, is equal to a pie of the one pie pumpkin stuff that you can get in the grocery store. I forgot. So here, uh, one of those went bad, so the chickens get that. There's all the, bump, the guts and stuff, and they're gonna love this treat. And then I have all of these seeds, then I'm going to brine them, and probably overnight, and then tomorrow I'll roast them. I'll probably put some garlic powder on them. <laughs> hey guys, so as you can see, I have cooked these and they're all ready to scoop out. So I'll just show you that, and uh, then we'll go from there. Um, if you ever do it this way, I'll just tell you, it is just so good because it's just not all mush and it's so fresh and the flavor of your pie or your bread or whatever it is you like to make with pumpkin is going to be amazing. Um, it does take just a little bit of effort but really this is way easier than trying to peel it. <laughs> when I was really young and I first got married. I had this old cookbook. Well, it wasn't really old, but they were old recipes. Uh, it was one of those like binder sets that you can subscribe to and you get you get recipes once a month to add to it. So anyway, one of the things in there was uh, to make your pumpkin pie from scratch. So, you know, Thanksgiving came along and of course, me being who I am, I decided that I wanted to do that, even though my dad's a baker, I never really had to worry about making pies because he always brought them home for the holidays, and uh, anyway, I did that, and I had to cut it in all these little chunks, and then I had to peel them, and then boil them, and just, it was just so much work. And if you've ever tried to peel any kind of winter squash, you know how hard that can be. Uh, you know, they don't call it winter squash for nothing. You do know why it's called winter squash, right? Well, it's because it stores well over the winter. It has a nice, hard, thick skin, and, uh, it lasts in storage. So that's that's why it's called a winter squash. It's not because you grow it in the winter. Um, they do take a while to grow. Summer squashes grow fairly quickly as opposed to the winter squashes which you grow most of the season uh, when you live here in the Northeast anyway because we have such a short growing season. So most of the time that I'm able to grow things outside uh, they're just cooking away, so to speak. So I'm just gonna keep going with this. And uh, as you can see, I've got them in Chinese takeout containers. I love to save these. They come in so handy for storing things like this. And what I'm gonna do is freeze it like this. I might split it up into a few more. Uh, freeze it like this and then um, just set this in a little warm water for a second. It'll pop right out and I'll be able to put it in my food saver bag and freeze it without it really just squishing down. And Because some things when they're really moist, they don't, uh, 
they just get too squishy in those bags. But if you freeze it first, it works out really well. All right, I'll be back later. I remember the little squashes. They're gonna be part of dinner. Remember the pumpkin seeds from earlier? I'm gonna go ahead and cook them now. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle one pan with some gobs of garlic that I got from Awesome Country and the other pan with chili powder. And then a little drizzle of olive oil, which will spread out as it heats up. And these will get cooked at about 200 degrees for several hours this evening. And then they'll be an awesome snack. Hey guys, it's actually a couple days later. I've been busy. Um, we had a, a death in the family and uh, I just haven't gotten back to this. So this is the pumpkin. I froze it in two two cup portions and um, they look like they might be a little hard to get apart. I squished them together. I knew it might be hard. Um, so I think I'm just going to freeze them the way they are and I'll take them out and defrost them together and then I'll make pumpkin bread as well as pumpkin pie. Oh well. <laughs> So I'll show you what I do. I have a bowl of water right here, just to kind of, warm water of course, just to kind of loosen the bottom so it'll pop out for me. And it's just as simple as that, it pops right out now. And then I will go see the food saver a little see how it works I don't know um, I don't buy the bags I think that's a waste I'd rather make the bags to size every time so we buy the rolls and you just cut off the portion that you want and then you close the little door and I always pull it back just a tad and you put the lever down and you seal one side. <laughs> and then put the lever up and you put your products into the bag that you just made. And then go ahead and put that down. Now it's all frozen. It's not moist. I can just do it normal. And I don't have to worry about anything leaking out and jamming up my machine. So then you press back. And it's and then now it's all vacuumed and it'll go over and it will seal just like it did the other side. And when that's done, you lift it up, and you have a vacuum sealed package of pumpkin. It's actually four cups instead of two, but that's all right. I love pumpkin things. There's a little space right here, which I really probably should have done before I did this, but you can write, uh, let's see, can you see that? Not well. But anyway, if you, can, you can write on it what it is and with the date. And that is all. Um, I'm going to be putting a recipe for pumpkin date pecan spice bread that I did make with a two cup portion that I saved out when I was scooping out the pumpkins and I'm going to be posting that on my blog so if you're interested in that you can go and check that out. I did not make a video about it and we've eaten it all up so I don't have pictures of it but I did post stories on my Instagram so you can see it there if you want. That's all. Have a great evening.